our tail of the tape in this middleweight matchup. 1-0, Jordan Newman against pro-debuting Riley Miller. Riley Miller known as the Pale Panda with an outstanding jiu-jitsu game. Now, that, that was excellent. You like that? You, you toss. Now to our man, Michael C. Williams. Man, you're getting good. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, we go now three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing the blue corner at six foot one, weighing in 184.8 pounds. Tonight, making his professional debut, he fights out of Riverside, California, Riley, the pale Panda Miller. And across the cage's adversary, out of the red corner, at six foot, weighing in 185.2 pounds. His professional record early on, one and zero. Oh, he fights out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Jordan Newman. In charge, your referee, Mike Beltran. Mike Beltran, our referee. Ben Askren, a teammate of Jordan Newman. Jordan Newman's an outstanding wrestler, and he uses that wrestling along with very good hand speed in the stand-up. Look at that big takedown against Ugly Joe. He is a tenacious fighter, but he is in trouble as far as the ground. He has to be careful with his opponent tonight in Riley Miller. Two-time Division Three national champion at Wisconsin, Whitewater, Newman in the red gloves, the pale panda, the brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, making his professional debut in the blue gloves. Riley Miller will go for submissions from all kinds of positions, but he needs to be careful. When you have someone that's grabbing hold, you can only take so many shots here. He's got to extend those hips. Don't allow Jordan Newman to use his hands on that neck to control where your head is at. Riley Miller said he may be a better wrestler, but I am a better fighter. He also said I'm the funniest guy I know. I just don't know how many people he knows. See that? It was me being I kind of got that. Way. And right here, Riley Miller is figuring, I've got his leg entwined. I have something that I can go after, but he's got to get Newman out of that position. And right now, he's showing, I can't do it from where I'm at. So then switch it up and go to something else instead of taking these shots. You can only take so many left hands to the head before it starts to alter who you are. Newman with a really good, solid base coming from his wrestling background. He's gonna be a hard person to get off balance. He's given himself a little bit of space to work his ground and pound. And I like what Riley Miller is trying. I like the fact that he's going after this, but you can only figure out, you know what, if I stay with this, I've just taken these shots, I've got to change to something else, and that's what he's doing now. Jordan Newman. A member of the Rufus Sport MMA team, led by our good buddy Duke Rufus, Scott Cushman, Daniel Vanderlei, of course Ben Askren, Pettis Brothers, Paul Felder, Mike Big Rhodes. And a good start for the 24-year-old in his second professional fight. Very nice start, good transitioning by Jordan Newman. You see Riley trying to move himself underneath, turning the position. Newman just rides him on top, coming back out into that half-guard position. Riley we have as a unbeaten amateur at 5-0-1 with four submissions and one knockout. As I mentioned, a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, David Pacheco, amongst his training partners, is a bad spot though early. Uh, you see that you saw the crucifix position yeah. done by Jordan. Newman being very smart, just taking that left hand. Nice little shots back and forth. He's just systematically dominating the positions and breaking Riley Miller down to where Riley's gonna have to change his attacks. Back to that crucifix position. 
He doesn't have the left arm in, in place right now. That's why Riley's able to bring it over to try to block some new shots. Newman born in Minneapolis. Looking for a first round finish. A lot of power here on some of these shots. Like that, trying right on top of the action. And this is that whole element that we talk about. You know, it, it only takes so many shots before a black belt gets dropped down to a brown belt, purple belt, blue belt. Eventually, you're a white belt when your brain's not functioning. It can only take so much. Can you become less than a white belt? <laughs> yes, you can. You can become unconscious. There you go. Yeah, he's got to protect himself. You hear Mike Beltran saying that exact thing. Well, he's trying. He's working. You know, he's in a bad spot. Yeah. But he's also not really being damaged. So you got to let a guy run through this, see if he can control, the, get himself back out of the position. 40 seconds. Round one. And he starts to just cover that list. He's That's it. Away. And it's all over. 2 and 0. Oh. Jordan Newman with his first career finish. Very dominant performance by Jordan Newman. That was really impressive. Came out, throwing his hands, going for the takedown, stopping any kind of entwinement on the leg there. Outstanding performance by Jordan Newman. Coach Kush, Coach Vanderly, pleased with the performance of Jordan Newman. There's the shot, kind of put Riley Miller down. He knew he had a ground game and he went for it with the entwining of that leg, but he was stuck in that position and just started taking big left hands. And all these positions, he kept getting hit with shots. And eventually, when you're bringing both hands on one side of your head, we tell fighters all the time, you start to do that, it's kind of like being Dorothy saying, I want to go home, and we're going to allow you to do that. We're going to get you out of the fight. With the official decision, once again, we check in with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes to an end officially. Four minutes, 28 seconds, round number one. Referee Mike Beltran waves it off. The winner by TKO, still undefeated Jordan Newman. Jordan Newman, a former D3 wrestler of the year, moves to 2-0, and earns his first career finish, and he does it against Riley Miller. Impressively.